Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Blind. So in the last episode, we proceeded to climb, or unclimb, I suppose, declimb, climb down. Are we climbing down or climbing up the Tower of Babel? I think we're actually going down, because this is basement floor two, right? So, yeah, we're proceeding to unclimb the Tower of Babel. And something I just want to say right now while I'm thinking about it is that I'm sorry there's been no Mario Galaxy recently, and I actually have a reason for that. Which is, um, so I just got a new computer, and I had bought an HD PVR previously. However, I ended up returning said HD PVR. I probably shouldn't atta have attached the guy in the back row, because he's probably going to be, like, shielded by back rowiness. Or I could kill the guy in front, and then it doesn't matter in the end. However, as I was saying, I had originally bought an HD PVR, but every time I used it, it made my computer crash. So, uh, whether that was my old computer being, oh, I'm sorry, I hit my microphone. Whether that was my old computer being dumb or don't self-destruct, you not on edge. Okay, that didn't hurt at all. Actually, never mind. Um, whether that was my old computer or the HD PVR I got, I don't know. And I will never know. However, I'm hoping with this new computer that I can get another HD PVR and I won't have any problems. So I'm just... I'm kind of saving up for it like I could afford it right now. However, it would be unwise for me to buy it just because it would be kind of like an impulse purchase which I try to shy away from generally so yeah that's that's pretty much why I haven't I should have gotten that treasure chest I'm gonna go all the way back and I'm gonna get it just to see what it is so so yes um, I'm not sure how long it oh my gosh oh wait I don't have we seen these guys before I definitely don't recognize that guy in the back um, let us ninjutsu and see what happens. That's the fire one, right? It should be good against these ice warriors. At least that's my that's my hope and dreams. But no, so I think it'll only be like another mm, week. Meaning, wow, okay, that fire did not work at all. And now they're reflecting, oh no! That's the worst thing. But yeah, so hopefully by Friday, um, I should be able to get another HD PVR and see if that works, and assuming it does, then we can get back on... I have hiccups. Ugh. We can get back on track with Mario Galaxy. Mar Mario Galaxy 2, specifically. Because I kinda miss recording that. In fact, I miss recording that a lot, because I love that game. These guys, these battles, are starting to take a really long time. Um, like, I don't know if it's me being underleveled, or the enemy is just getting more difficult, or what. However, yes, these battles in general are taking quite a decent chunk longer than I am used to. Also, no, he has Reflect on, because one of the guys put it on him. 1495. See, that totally wasn't even worth it, those three guys. I just need to go back up, like, two levels, two basement floors upwards, and grind up there for a bit. That seems like a good place to grind. Nope. Chuck Testa. Back attack. Not interested. That means run away faster, please. Before they hit Rydia! Or... Oh my gosh! Guys, what's your problem with Rosa? Jeez! Seriously! Could you have been more... Dickish? I mean, one, you, you're punching a girl with your fire-laden bodies. However, you're punching the same girl four times. I mean... Is there anything more impolite than setting a girl on fire with a bomb? I mean, I don't think so. Mon monsters, really? Really? Oh my god! No! No! This is bad. This is very, very bad. Um, thank you. Thank you, Cecil. I saw what you did there. A uh, copper hourglass. That slows them down, right? Or stops them or something? This, this is an, an imperative time for this to work. So please, please. No, Rosa, I needed you to be alive. God damn it, Janet. Okay, jeez. Kane, just do something. Um, you, they are not, they are not weak to magic at all. Someone left in the comments that they're weak to like physical stuff or rather they're super resistant to magic so don't use physical stuff because you're a retard. Um, so I am not going to. I have learned from... Oh, still not dead even after a critical? Oh my god. These are the worst things of all time. Uh, 
Do I have a mist? Does that heal me? No. Chocobo? No. She... None of these. None of these would even be useful. Um, black magic? Stop. Uh, they're already stopped. Sleep. No, I can only use that on one of them. Just fight. Rydia, this is just... This is so not good. Hey, paralyzed. Well, that's convenient, I guess, even though this cure 2 is gonna do, like, no healing whatsoever. Ah, uh, well, 100, but in the scheme of things, that's really pretty much nothing. I really hope we win this battle. Uh, I do not... I had enough problems with two ogres yesterday. I am absolutely not excited for four ogres. Kill it? God! Uh, do I have cure 3? Yes, I do. Oh, thank God. Okay. Well, cure 3 the hell out of us, Rosa. Um... I'm not sure if that makes much sense. Cure three the hell out of us? That would be like cure three is some sort of exorcist and or, um, I don't know, religious prayer of some sort, which is possible. I mean, Rosa does have the, the prayer move that I could be using. However, cure three seems far more effective. I mean, 400 per person? Can't complain. 58? Lol! At least, Rydia, at least you're paralyzing them. How long does this copper hourglass last? Like, I'm afraid that talking about it, it's like the elephant of the room and I'm gonna curse it. Um, however, they have not been attacking at all. Which I am very, very thankful for, because there was no way we would have won this battle. When I have to attack the same one, like, four times for 500 damage just to kill it, I mean, that's a sign that your monster has a lot of HP and or I am extraordinarily weak. I'm guessing it's actually the former, not the latter there, simply because I don't think I'm that weak. 1800 experience, that was so not worth it. At least I got an ogre killer, whatever. Look, now we can just kill ogres? Uh, who can equip that? I'm assuming, well, Edge, that doesn't make much sense. Why would he equip Axis? Can he? No. Who equips Axis? Kane. Oh, Kane does. However, that makes your damage a lot less accurate, right? 93 to 96. I'll try it. I mean, well, we can see what happens. Uh, try new things, right? That's, that's what I'm in this for. Try new things. I've never played this game before, so you guys might be yelling at me right now. I don't know. However, it is what it is. We are who we are. I do not like Kesha. That is a Kesha song, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I actually just had this discussion at work today, and my coworker also did, did not know if that was a Kesha song. So I said, we are who we are, or it's, it's something like that, I'm pretty sure. Fairly certain. Uh, oh my gosh, that's basement floor already. Four. Basement floor four. Floor four. Uh, yes. Uh, there's probably some sort of secret over there, but honestly, I'm not really in the mood for battles. So, is floor four, and then, do we go back up to floor three? Because I saw, I saw that little orby thing that I think we might have to go into. Also, I know I keep running away from everything, and that's not really helping my leveling. However, oh my gosh, these, these enemies just suck. Lit spirit, that just looks scary. I'm not, my body's not ready. If I find a save point, if I find a save point, then I'll be happy. But I'm afraid, I am, I am legitimately afraid of what might be going down here. Uh, oh my gosh, okay. This, I just had massive flashbacks to Rocket's Hideout from Pokemon Red and Blue. Just those two doors back there hidden, like, behind... Well, in, in Rocket's Hideout, it would be, I think it would be behind a locked door that you can't initially open until you get inside it, and then you can unlock it. I don't think there's a door there we can open. But no, those two doors where it's like you have to go down the entire tower just to get over into that elevator shaft and then move, make your way back up and then you can get where you want to be. No, I'm really not in the ogre mood. I'd have to use another copper hourglass and that seems like a waste. But yeah, man, I haven't played Pokemon Red and Blue in forever. What do we have here? Uh, first off, let's look up here for a save point. Save point! Yay! Uh, cottage, 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 cottage. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear me swallowing on, on, on camera. In my microphone, I'm trying to suppress my hiccups. They still haven't completely gone away. So, I mean, rather that than hearing me hiccup every three seconds or whatever, right? 
Um, also, I did not even save there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I've been using save, save, save points, save states for the most part. But what's over here? Okay, so this is the rocket hideout area thing I was talking about. I want to go back and search the orb first and see what that does. Um, I'm actually gonna save it this though. Even though I was just here, I know, I know, I know. Save. Dunzo. Time 1312. Have I really put 13 hours into this game already? Oh my god. How many episodes are we in? This is episode 30, I think. 13 hours and 30 episodes. That's an average of 20 minutes an episode? Ooh, that's not a really good a average. Uh, no. No, that's not an average of 20 minutes an episode. What do I say? That's an... Oh, well, I guess that includes, like, grinding and stuff. And I can't even get into that orb. Um, so that's not a completely accurate thing. But, I mean, let's say it's 12 hours. 12 hours into 30 episodes. That's... I don't even want to think about it. Uh, no, no, no! It's hatching! It's hatching! Run! Run faster, this Lamia. She's going to tentatively rape us with her body. Okay. So that's kind of dumb that we can't get into that orb there. Uh, can I really just not kill these things in one blow? Do I suck that hard? Uh, Cecil, hit it. See what happens. No, I can't. I suck. I suck so much. Okay, well, I should probably be killing that. However, at the same time, that involves stuff like doing damage and stuff like that. Just stuff that I don't really understand how to do. So, I guess we're just gonna make our way. I chose, I chose wisely. I chose totally the right path. It's probably something over there. Oh my gosh, what do we got? Oh no! Oh what? Edge. Mom, Dad. What? Science? I'm so glad you're here. Thank God you're safe. Oh, Mom, I was so worried. Edge, come. Yes, come with us. Where? To hell! Look out! Yes, do look out! Lol? Oh my God! If you want to die so badly, I'll send you all to the sands of hell. The sands of hell? I mean, I've heard of Sands of Time and Sands of Destruction, but Sands of Hell? Really? Okay, Edge, let's see if your your moves are super powerful against your parents. Also, how did you mistake those two things for your parents anyway? Dad, Mom! What's, what's happened to you? Tell me about it. I mean, I don't think I would ever mistake those two things for my parents, unless I was, like, part of where the wild things are. In which case, I guess those two things would seem kind of legit. Or the one on the left kind of looks like it belongs in Alice in Wonderland a little bit. She has, like, wings coming out of her face. But besides that, like, how dumb you, how dumb do you have to be, Edge, to, to, fall, for, to fall for that? <sighs> okay, so ninjutsu didn't work too well, so let us... It's me. Y yes, it is you. However, they are not them. So... You, you're still on the they are your parents train. You gotta get off that train. So I'm gonna suplex the shit out of that train. Wait, they're back? Wait, those actually are your parents? Listen to me. No shit, Sherlock. You're not human, no. I really like how the one on the left looks, though. We cannot live like this. We have nothing to live for. Except for being made of fire. Does Edge have to kill his own parents? Wow. Or do they kill themselves? That would be actually kind of kinder. I'm not even gonna lie. Dude, okay. Whew. I was gonna say, if they forced Edge to take the final blow, that would be like the cruelest thing ever.
so sad, and we don't even get experience for it. I like how... I can't even do it. No, no, I'm going to blast out your ears. That's I totally ruined that scene in every way. However, I couldn't bring out a heartfelt anything out of my out of my chest region. So, Rubiconte, you are the reason that Edge just lost his parents. That bastard Luigi. I don't know what to say. I can't believe it. It's experimenting on the king and queen. Rubiconte, you why, you son of a bitch, you'll pay! Oh god, you'll pay for this! Luigi turned the king and queen into monsters on his own. I deeply apologize for that. Believe me, I would never do such a thing. I'm different from the others. I want to fight fairly on equal ground. I can't tell if that's sarcasm or not. I like brave people like me. But as long as humans become tangled up in emotions, they will never attain true power. You are doomed to be forever weak. Human, is it? I'll show you that human thing. Called anger. Whoa, what? What? Is... Okay. Um... Well, you know what? We're gonna fight Rubicon Day next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Blind. Because I kind of just butchered the mood. So let's reset the mood by waiting a day. So... Until next time, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're having a great day.